Yeah, we're here at the Bernayaga Speedway and I have no freaking idea why there is so much garbage when I see street sweepers every week. Where is all that shit coming from? And by the way, there's like a... I don't know, there's a restaurant that has formed somewhere there. Oh, damn it, low fuel. After my quick early morning rant, <laughs> I would just like to say that I'm on my way to the Honda Driving Academy or the Honda Safety Driving Center in Paranaque. I think it's along Sukat. That's the Honda Riding School, right? Anyway, I'm gonna get some fuel. I'm gonna put my... Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I took my phone down out. I've been invited by Honda to demo their Honda Click 125i and 150i. <laughs> Should be fun. I'm actually in excited. I've never ridden an underboner before. <laughs> I've ridden a boner, but not an underboner. <laughs> Oi, she's not even looking because your hair is in the way. So let's get some fuel and get some advice from Waze so I don't have my phone mount god damn it is this bus picking anybody up You're dropping people off! Banyata! Hi! Yeah! Racing! 97! We're getting some Shell V Power Racing 97 Ron! See, he knows how to put gas. May basahan. I like it when they take care of your gas tank like that. Thank you. I gotta get some RFID load. Loaded in here. Hey, boots. Okay, I just squeezed it. Thanks, Kuya. service road all the way only until Bikutan I thought it was all the way in Sukat but turns out it's all the way in Bikutan ah it didn't work I can load ko lang ah okay thanks ah It's 49 pesos. That's pretty much just like my Merville exit. Thank you. This is Bikutan. I hardly pass here. <laughs> it's been a while since I passed here. Wow, it, it's confusing. Like they're telling the guys from that side to go. And that's because this intersection has so many entries. So it's like people who are going to ETC and cash, people who are going to the service road. And they're being told to stop! <laughs> what? They're going again? <laughs> this is so complicated, they're giving different uh, directions because there's like three people directing traffic there! This is chaos! What the hell? How many guys does it take to direct traffic? One, two, three, four. Oh, he's telling the guys to go and there's an ambulance right there. The fuck? 
Oh, I have not missed this part of the service road. Here, okay. Thank you. And I have special guests with me today. Hey! <laughs> there's the shirt, there's the shirt, polar rides. <laughs> Hey, hey, we are at the Honda Safety Driving Center. If you look behind me, thank you so much, Honda. And they've invited me over to try the Honda Click 125i and 150i. What do I know about underboners? It's considered an underbone, right? Yes, it's an underbone. Scooter. Yeah, I'm talking to somebody. Somebody who knows a little bit more, a lot more, <laughs> about underboners than me. What is up, Polar Rides? Hello, guys. How long have you been riding? Been four years. 2013, 2014, I started with Mio. Yamaha Mio. Shh, just Joe. <laughs> no, no, no. But that's keeping it real. That's so your experience, Yamaha yes, Mio. Currently. Uh, 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 oh, no. Ang gamit ko ngayon is Yamaha Cyber 150. Okay, what a Yami boy. <laughs> <laughs> and how often do you ride? Almost every day. Every day, every right? Day on the every day, right? Okay. So, we get this awesome opportunity from Honda to try out the 125i and 150i. The camera angle makes me look fat. <laughs> I've only go. been on a scooter thrice in my life. So, Eganon. Don't make it hard for me to put subtitles. And then I was like, you know, how am I gonna make a first impression? It's like, you know, what am I supposed to look out for? So I messaged our underboner expert. Not that underboner expert. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, the guy with more experience. Con con content lang. <laughs> yeah. So you eat on the action. If you were to buy a scooter, an underbone, what do you look for? Well, there are main three things that we're looking for the for choosing a bike. Torque. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> well, everybody's up, up to speed. Yeah, yeah. If you want top speed, of course you get a bigger displacement, yeah, right? Just, just get a, a thousand cc motorcycle. Yeah, if you want speed. And yeah, there's no point watching this video. Go, yeah. go move on. There are, there are three things that you're considering buying a motorcycle. First of all, is the com comfort level. It's pretty comfortable. If you ask me, pretty comfortable. Cyan is the fuel efficient. Oh! And you know what the fuel efficiency is? I think for the 150 is 52. 52! Oh my god! And we'll see about the 125i. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Indoors, 53. 53, 53 on the 125i. Do you know how much? My well, bike's fuel efficiency. How much? 30? 2? 25. Ooh, take me. <laughs> <laughs> With today's inflation, 53 kilometers. So if your subscriber is going to ask you what your gasoline is, range? 1 full tank. 1 full tank, maybe 500. 500. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Now, okay, with the inflation rate. That's bad. Damn you. Damn you, inflation rate. Damn you, inflation rate. What's happening to our economy? The compartment. I was like, what? Why don't you just bring a fucking backpack? <laughs> but yeah, okay. And then Paul goes, you know, Gaki, he goes, you know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> People buy this motorcycle for, because for commuter. Mm, commuter, reasons. for oh. the daily basis. Yeah. You ride I, your motorcycle. I will shut like, up now. Every day. Is that big enough for you? Even it is. Yes. You like big? <laughs> big compartments. Big compartments. <laughs> Equals big. It's big <laughs> Big holes. <laughs> yeah. Another bike. Yeah. That's, that's it. Every day. This is your everyday ride. This is your commuter ride. It's all about being practical. If you're in, or, in order to survive here in the Philippines, you need to lane split every day. Yeah. yeah. The, best, the best example for that is the EDSA. EDSA is the biggest war zone for the motorcycles. Yeah. 
but you've seen me take big bags on end, so yes. that's fine. So anyway, that's a bad. Said. That's a bad so, for wait. you. <laughs> uh, this is what we're looking at: comfort, the Jeez. compartment, the fuel efficiency. Mm -hmm. We are walking out to the Honda Safety uh, Riding Center, and this is what it looks like. It's my first time here, and in fact, um, a lot of my friends have taken riding lessons. Okay, this is what I'm trying. This is a Honda Click 150i and you'll know it is because it's got like, you know, those embossed emblems. It's more premium. This is more premium than the other one. You just get on it. It's comfortable. If you want to flat foot it, you just sit kind of front. Pull the brake. Pull the brake and... My first time on a boner. How'd you go? Oh, and you just you just throttle. It's like a toy. <laughs> wow, this is like Jim Connor. It's pretty maneuverable. Uh, how many people go through this Honda riding safety course? Wait, the brakes are on both sides, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Brakes are on both sides. Whee! Oh, they have a speedway. It's got an idling stop. So you just, if you want an idling stop, so if you stop for three seconds. It's an ISS. Yeah. ISS? I turned it off. Ay, enough, okay, na? Okay. okay. Emergency brake natin. You try the brake. Both. Okay. Before you apply the brake, be sure to lean back hard. Brake. Press. Okay. Not up front. Okay. S press slowly. Press the brake. Okay. Not protect. Up front. Four fingers to try. Okay. Let's go. Ah! Wow. <laughs> this is cool. But this is so much cooler and like i could wear a dress with this i'm not used to the whole brakes on both sides you try, you try to control your bike to rear brake not throttle okay okay try to control it with the rear brake it's a whole different thing and then you this is like where you go racing and you like go down and put it it's pretty good. I'm looking at the screen. I think it's got everything you need. And just like with what Pola said, this is a commuter bike, you dumbass. Hey, Paul. It's comfortable. So, do you know that you have to hit that the brakes are in both sides? You knew that? Am I the only one who didn't know that? <laughs> what do you say about that? The, the two, two brakes. What's it called? Combi, combi brakes. brakes. You got a combi brake. Does your bike have that? No. <laughs> so the combi brake thing is like if you hit this rear brake, it's like there. I there, I felt it. It's like front and rear at the same time, and it's something that Honda's got. Yay! This is the one two five i. Hey, I'm on a pink bike. What it feels like really is brainless. It's so chill. Uh, crouch down, crouch down, crouch down. Racing. Yay! I did the brake test perfectly this time. That's a nice color. Hi, teacher. Hi. That's a nice color. It's like a matte red, kind of like... It's like something you would put on a Lamborghini. <gasps> it's got everything. You have a fuel gauge. This is more than... Scooters are like fitted with almost everything. There are some big bikes that pretty much have the same... <laughs> the same display. And you get it on a scooter. So while the guy is testing out the... Uh, on the Click 125i... Yeah! Yeah! If you're watching this guy, you should test out more often a scooter bike. It is a, it's a wise choice. And what is that? 
It has a fob key. A keyless. It has a on also a. Uh, okay, go go go. Go nga. Why? <laughs> wait wait wait. Button one is. Can I see? That's the light. That's the light, lang, dude. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how it works, but anyway, it has a fob key of sorts. Looks nice from the front, and I'm liking the lights. It's got some eyelids. What did you like about it? The handling. Whoa. The wider the tires. 8070 on the front and on the rear. Oh my god, so technical. You can just visit his page. <laughs> just watch his video and he will tell you what he likes about it and what he doesn't like about it. I just thought it was so chill. It was like a toy for me. For a commuter, I would totally use it. How much is it going for? 95,900. Well, that is, that is the SRP. The SRP is 95,900 for the 150i. I would totally get one. I mean, why the hell not? It's so much cheaper than getting a car with inflation and fuel. It's just so much better. It's got a compartment. But the thing is, I'm just not the scooter type. Perfect time that you ask your subscribers. Yeah. Should you get a scooter for a daily basis or not? Yeah. Okay, well, you guys, he's asking, should I get a scooter for my daily ride or no? I vote no. 